What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have for you six contrast exercise pairings that we love to do, working on building strength and power. You all know how much we love contrast training. So hopefully you enjoy this, they're all lower body. Um, so like I said, building that strength, building that power. So if you guys enjoy this, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So make sure you subscribe to catch all of them. Hope you enjoy. All right, number one, we are starting off with barbell step ups. So you'll see in the video clips, bar on the back, we're not going a very high step up. We're only working at a 12 inch step. The reason for this is we wanna be joint specific. So the way that our angles are when we're up on that step is exactly the area we want to train, especially if we're talking power, it's those particular angles from a jump, from a sprint, things in that nature. So we don't need it to be crazy high, especially with load on your back. You do want to be careful um, as you're going, keep your core nice and tight. It's all about intent when it comes to this stuff, right? Driving force into the ground, the intent of the movement. So as you step up, boom, pop yourself up, try to generate some force. So with our barbell explosive or barbell step up, we're hitting an explosive step up. So we're gonna come to a box. We wanna hit similar movements, uh, similar movement patterns, work in the same areas, right? So we just hit that barbell step up. So now we're doing an explosive step up where we're here. We're gonna start in this split stance position as explosively as you can, you're gonna drive up. So I'm not working a crazy high angle. This is 12 inches, okay? But I'm going as fast as I can, popping up, ending in triple flexion, right? Triple flexion here, here, here. Get everything popped, ready to go. We're tall at the top. So this is the first set. Number two, we're going a split stance trap bar. So I'm sure you've all seen us do this many times. Love this exercise. Very important to be working the split stance for athletes. We're gonna to wanna to drive off this front leg, back leg as well, but it's a little bit more for stability. Really drive off the front leg. Okay, you're gonna set up in this position right here. I like my feet to be a little close together. So I'm right here, okay, in this position. This shin's a little bit more vertical. This one, I'm crouching down with it, okay? Out of this, we have two options. So if we're gonna go more for speed, right, then we're gonna pull as fast as we can a lighter load. If we wanna go for more strength, which is traditional contrast, then you still wanna pull with intent to go fast. It's just not gonna move as fast. But essentially, we're gonna be here. Boom, we're gonna drive up, put it back down, up, down. Okay, I'm really driving off my front leg really squeezing my glute as I go. After this, we're going a one-step approach jump. So we got options, right? We can either do a one-step approach like you see us doing, just stepping, jumping. We can go box jump, one-step box jump. You can have something you're trying to hit, like a low rim, like to dunk, a tennis ball hanging. You've seen us do it with the garage. Essentially, all we're doing is hitting a one-step jump. The reason we're doing this, right? We're working something similar with that split out of this. Okay, we're gonna step and go. So any type of thing where you're stepping, jumping, max intent, we're good to go. Number three, we have a barbell hip thrust. This is a fantastic exercise for posterior chain. So uh, you're gonna load up the bar. Okay, it's all that hip hinge. Even though we have our back on the boxes, it's still the hip hinge that we would get in an RDL per se, right? Right here, just that hinge. Lower your hips, drive up, make sure, big key, we're driving out of our heels, okay? I don't wanna be digging my toes into the ground as I'm driving up on my barbell hip thrust, okay? Keep it in your heels, make sure your spacing is good, uh, your angles are good, okay? Core stays tight. I like to set up right below my, like, my shoulder blades, okay? That's just that pivot point off the box. So we're driving up there, really focus on that concentric action. Obviously, we wanna slow load, but power through that concentric, hold it at the top for a second. And then with this, something I love to do it would be a banded broad jump. So if you don't have a band, uh, you can just do regular broad jumps, right? But we're really working that hip hinge and that explosion out. So that hip extension out of it, similar to what we're hitting with the hip thrust. Light resistance is the key if you have a partner holding. You don't want it to be impossible. You don't want to change their mechanics, but you do want to apply some light load making them have to really extend hard out of it, get a full drive, 
drive that ground away. Number four, we are going a rear foot elevated split squat. Okay, so right here, we're gonna have the bar on our back for this one. Um, I do like going front load, but for this exercise, we can lift a little bit heavier um, with it on our back. So the reason I chose this, number one, you guys know I love this exercise. Being unilateral, it can really work on force production on each leg independently. So that is a massive key when it comes to contrast training and our strength production, right? That force production, and then for power, that fast force. The more force we can develop, right, potentially the greater power we have if we can translate it to being fast force production. So we're gonna be here, right? Just your typical bar on the back, get set up, drop it down, and then we're standing up. On the way up, just like I said with the trap bar, we wanna drive force into the ground, okay? Push yourself away from the ground, drive as hard as you can, keep tall, um, that's the biggest thing. You wanna be pushing off as hard as you can, especially for contrast training. We're going for strength right now, okay? Uh, if you have a, um, what's it called? The, the thingy thing with the thing and the and it's like a five years later, Smith machine. If you have a Smith machine, I think it's really good to do this type of exercise on that because you don't have the stability playing a factor, especially if we're trying to build strength, then you don't necessarily want stability to be that big of a factor. Um, so I think it'd be really awesome if you have that. You can also go dumbbell, trap bar, uh, have a spotter, okay? But so with that, we're doing another variation of an explosive step up, but it's an explosive step up jump, okay? So coming to get my box. We're gonna be here, okay? You're gonna start with one foot up on the box. You're gonna jump straight up, okay? So we're taking some very similar, that unilateral exercise, driving off, same thing here. So I'm up, I step, boom, push up as high as I can, and then I stick it, okay? The biggest goal, as I'm saying, with the rear foot, with the trap bar, drive force in, okay? Drive force into the box, propel yourself up. Just like that. Number five, we're going a split stance overcoming ISO pull, okay? So we're loading up the bar. You can also put your bar under pegs if your cage works that way, but we're loading it up. You can see Spence is split in it. He's driving off his front leg as hard as he can, as hard as he can trying to lift this bar up. Okay, you're gonna drive through for the allotted time, let's say five seconds. Okay, as hard as you can. We're working those joint specific angles as you can see, really trying to drive off, generate lots of force. So drive your foot into the ground. This is all force production. Isometrics are a great way to do that, especially overcoming isos. So really drive as hard as you can, fire up your glute to the max. With the barbell, we're going one of the best power exercises available, a sprint, okay? So we can go outside if you have a turf, you can run on the turf, treadmill, whatever you got. Sprinting is one of the best things we can do for power training, especially after we hit something like this, we're activating that glute, that posterior chain, driving the ball of the foot into the ground. It's gonna be a perfect translation to sprinting. Last one, we're going a lateral sled drive, okay? So we're gonna hook up the sled. If you don't have a waist attachment, you can just hold it with your hand like we used to. So big thing here, okay, I want a big step over, drive the ground away. So it's really important to be building strength in the frontal plane, that side to side movement. A lot of what people do typically is that sagittal right front to back, but it's very important we hit side to side, okay? So I'm here, I drive the ground away, big step. Make sure you're leaning as well, right? I don't want some little thing right here. Drive force into the ground, right? We're trying to push it away. We're trying to get strong here. So we're gonna load up that sled, we're gonna hit that. And then with it, we're hitting a single leg lateral push off jump with a load. So you see us do this a lot with our lateral um, change of direction days, right? Some lateral agility stuff. So typically we're here and then we jump out as far as we can, we'll land on two. For this one, we're hitting the same thing, but we're starting off with a load, okay? So similar to the box we did with that uh, explosive step up jump, I'm here, I'm gonna push into the ground and then I'm gonna go, okay? So no loading this way, um, push, drive the ground away. 
push, drive the ground away, okay? So I'm applying force and it's helping pop me in the other direction. So hopefully these help, give these a shot. These are awesome contrast pairings that we love to do. So hopefully you enjoy this. Please give a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.